Our next speaker will be Kevin McIsaac. Prior to joining the United Potato Growers of Canada, Kevin operated a family farm for 25 years, growing 600 acres of potatoes with his brother in Prince Edward Island. He has been involved with many agricultural organizations, including chair of the PEI Potato Board and chair of the PEI Soil and Crop Improvement Association. Previous to farming, he was an extension agronomist with the New Brunswick Department of Agriculture. Kevin is a graduate of the Nova Scotia Agricultural College and the University of Gulf. Please welcome Kevin McIsaac. Morning, everybody. Pleasure to be here, as, uh, as always, and uh, interact with uh, potato growers from, from Canada and potato growers from the U.S. and potato growers from all over the world. Uh, great venue. Uh, thank you all for attending as well. So I'm just going to give you a brief uh, update in terms of uh, how our crop turned out in Canada last year and, and get right down to what our holdings look like uh, currently to the, to the week almost. So just to uh, take a look at what we've done in Canada in terms of the acreage of potatoes that we've planted uh, over the five years, uh, basically we've been on a, on a decline in acreage uh, going back uh, over those period of time from 373,000 acres uh, to 349,000 last year. Last year was up slightly, up 0.4%, but overall our, our decline has been uh, in the past uh, four years. That's certainly been related to some of the market conditions. That's been related to some of the uh, work that United has, has done that, and, and a lot of other factors involved there as well. Overall, that production uh, uh, is, is in decline with the exception of uh, some processing provinces, particularly Manitoba. Manitoba is up 6.3%. Uh, you can see that that's uh, substantially higher than a year ago, but it's, it's getting back to where they used to be two years ago where they had substantial volumes uh, 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 declined in terms of their contract uh, uh, processing plants in Manitoba. So that uh, volume was returned in the last couple of years and that acreage has, has moved up to, to meet some of that. Uh, the other provinces are pretty similar. PEI is the largest producer in the country at 80, roughly 89, 500 acres. Uh, and certainly the smallest, uh, BC uh, and Saskatchewan, 6,000 and there's a couple of other miners. But that's where we uh, come in in terms of our planted acres of potatoes over the, over the last uh, five years. So in Canada last year, there's really not many areas that did not have good growing conditions and did not have good yields. In fact, it was a record-breaking uh, year for our country in terms of the yield that was produced. Uh, we reached uh, 305 hundredweight per acre last year, uh, up substantially. And it's amazing that started out as just only a fair growing uh, season in a lot of areas, but uh, obviously there was uh, rain came at the right time when the crop needed it. We also had an excellent fall of our harvesting. Um, just a couple of notes there. There's probably only two areas that had reduction in yield, uh, and that's only a slight amount in terms of PEI's numbers, uh, 279 versus 280. It's really uh, immaterial. Uh, Quebec, or, I'm sorry, Ontario had a a slight reduction in yield as well. The other areas, uh, Alberta was, was record-breaking for them this year at 384, was also record-breaking last year at 361, so very good crops there. Manitoba was record-breaking for that province as well at 323 hundredweight per acre. So as you can, uh, as you can see from the bottom line, uh, our yields have been moving up uh, over that period of time. And just to, to put that on, on a graph and see exactly what we mean, um, and that's pretty good data going back a long period of time to 1986, uh, our trend line is not as high as it is in, the increase is not as high as it is in the United States, mostly due to the fact that our acreage is, is grown more on non-irrigated land than, than you do in the U.S. But certainly that, uh, that increase is substantial and uh, you can see where we're, where we're moving. We're not, I don't see any years where we're going down unless there's some kind of a major failure in a lot of areas. So, translating that into our total uh, production, uh, this year's uh, numbers on the bottom, you see for 2015, we came in uh, at the end of harvest at 104.8 
million hundredweight, which is up 4.1%. That's up about 4 million hundredweight over a year ago. A lot of years we're around 101 million hundredweight, so uh, that's a significant increase. And as was pointed out, it's basically due to, to yield increases and, and not particularly planted acres in, for the most part, but certainly that is uh, a substantial yield. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, PEI's production is down slightly uh, because of a slight reduction in yield. New Brunswick's uh, production is up 5.5%. Uh, they've got about uh, almost a million hundredweight in terms of, and this I should point out is for total production, all categories included in here. Ontario is down 3.1% uh, to 7.9 million hundredweight. Manitoba's production is now at 21, projected to be at 21.6 million hundredweight to reflect that increase in, uh, in contracted acres and the, the volume that was returned there. Uh, Saskatchewan, uh, similar. Alberta, uh, uh, yield is actually would, would show that to be a little higher if all of the acres had been harvested. It was a, such a, a good year for the, the growers in Alberta that they did not harvest uh, a fair portion of the crop, probably about 2,500 acres that were not harvested, simply because their buildings were full, their contracts were full, so they did not harvest uh, the remainder of that. So that would be even higher if, if that had occurred, bringing us up to 104.8 million hundredweight. So when you put those three factors together, uh, production is the yellow one on the bottom, acreage is the blue, and, we, and as I pointed out, we've kind of done the right thing in terms of where acreage is gone. You see that, that decline over that period of time. Uh, but the reality is with that increase in that red line, that yield curve, that our production, our total production on the bottom is actually uh, not gone down, it's actually moving up. And I think that's not a different story than you're used to hearing about in the US, but, but definitely that's the one we're, uh, we're faced with as well and will continue to be, be faced with as Growers become uh, more productive, uh, better growers, better technology, and better ways of doing things. That's uh, production increases are generally the end result. So I just want to break it down first of all into, uh, into the sectors. Uh, we do this uh, as an organization and as a, as a government uh, data base. Together we try to determine what potatoes actually fit into each category. Uh, this is basically at the end of harvest, so this is what we think we harvested, and this is what we think the potatoes are in each category. Uh, you can see that processing in Canada is the big one. Uh, 2015 of a 66 and a half million hundredweight, uh, and that is up uh, over last year's 61.4 uh, million hundredweight. And as pointed out, that's certainly in the, in the processing provinces. You see Manitoba's numbers up, up substantially in there. You see uh, New Brunswick is, is uh, similar. Uh, PEI is actually uh, lower in terms of, of the processing one. Uh, those are a few highlights in the processing seed. We're basically uh, uh, an 11 million hundredweight uh, uh, province or, or country for the most part. Uh, it's always difficult with seed to determine what, what part of that uh, crop actually ends up staying in the seed category, but that's what we would estimate to be in there at the end of harvest. And fresh, um, certainly uh, fresh is, is uh, I think this year has changed our perspective a little bit in terms of what we, as you'll see in a couple of slides later, uh, we, we expected that in the beginning at harvest, when harvest was completed, we would have 27 million hundredweight versus 25 million hundredweight in that total category. Uh, and you'll see uh, as we get into our holdings, that's changed a little bit. But bas basically, uh, uh, our, our fresh category is, is the one that we have seem to have very little control over in terms of, of where that actually uh, ends up in terms of pricing especially. So uh, to bring us up to, uh, to date in terms of our holdings, what, what are the potatoes that we have in storages available to go to market? And this is our total crop. All, all sectors are involved in that one. You can see that on January 1st of 2016, our holdings are 73 million hundredweight versus 67.7 million hundredweight in January 1st of 2015. So that looks a little, uh, a little high uh, in terms of 
total category, that uh, is certainly a reason to, uh, to look a second time at those numbers. Uh, the big players in there, uh, where that increase is, is certainly uh, Manitoba, 14.8 million hundredweight, Alberta, uh, 15 million hundredweight. Uh, so the Western Canada has the chunk of 30, and Eastern Canada has a chunk of 42. Um, significant uh, increase when you look at the total numbers, but as you'll see on the next slide, that uh, when that gets broken down into the, the markets that are designated for that product, it, uh, it looks uh, a little better. It looks quite good actually in terms of what we had expected for fresh. Uh, this is fresh on January 1st of 2016. We actually have less potatoes in storage in Canada than we had last year at the same time. So that tells us that we did have very good movement in, uh, in several provinces, in particularly in the months of December, which is generally a good month for us anyway with the Christmas business. But also uh, November was good as well. So there has been a very significant volume of potatoes that moved out of the country in those two months, reducing our fresh holdings uh, down a little lower than where we, where we thought we would be. And specific numbers there, uh, uh, really it's, it's, it's Manitoba that would be the increase in terms of the fresh 1.1 versus 1.0. Uh, uh, but, but again, uh, the rest are pretty well in the negative side, which is exactly what we would like to see for, for a fresh category. Seed, not much has changed uh, since uh, the projections were originally done. Not much seed has moved out of, out of the storages or out of the holdings. Uh, we've, we've probably changed the amount of potatoes that we expected to end up in that category a little bit over the last couple of months. But basically, we're looking at a 10 million hundredweight crop, uh, which is up uh, slightly from last year. Uh, but it can't go up too much either because uh, there is no more room in that category for seed sales that I, that I see. Um, I think last year we had uh, seed that actually didn't, didn't make it to market in that category just because of the supply. So we don't need any more than what we have and that may be a little on the high side. But again, a uh, couple of factors that remains to be seen if all of that product stays in that category. The other thing is we don't address uh, storage issues that are occurring in, in a couple of provinces at least, and that will take the, uh, the overall uh, numbers down a little. Finally, uh, processing is the, uh, is, the, is the big increase, but it's the one that was uh, partially accounted for. Uh, we have 49 million hundredweight in storage on January 1 of potatoes that we expect that would be uh, used for processing versus 43 and a half on January 1st of a year ago. So uh, out of that uh, number that's, you know, a 5 million hundredweight number roughly, there's probably about 3 million hundredweight of that that's, that's contracted directly in terms of increases, so that's taken care of. Uh, and, and in Manitoba, for example, that increase there will not look after the, the actual volume increase that they needed. So those potatoes will have to move out of somewhere else to, to fill that category. But we still would have uh, at least uh, some open potatoes in New Brunswick, uh, particularly, and uh, a couple of other provinces as well uh, that will be open for processing. So there's probably a couple million hundred weight there that will, that will need to be uh, purchased to, uh, to complete the marketing season if everything stores uh, the way that we would be expecting it to store. So that's just kind of a brief update in terms of our crop and in terms of our holdings and where we stand compared to last year. And uh, if I see I have a couple minutes left, I'll take any questions if you have.